day 67 becoming Christopher Cruz, I am getting some work done. Um, so I worked with my friend uh, at the beginning of the year and um, she had me write out like the purpose of my business and what I wanted to create and everything and I just found it in Google Docs and I was reading through it. And um, it's powerful stuff, really powerful stuff. And what I was just reading was um, like, what is what are we trying to improve? Like as 8 billion lions, what are we trying to improve? And, you know, on here it said uh, something like, one of the biggest problems in the world is that most of us are walking around acting like we got our shit figured out. Like pretending that we're great, you know? It's like, how are you? Oh, I'm awesome. Live in the dream, blah, blah, blah. And um, it's really inauthentic because most of us don't have our shit figured out. And you know that's the truth because you can look at the state of the planet and the world and society. Like if everyone had their shit figured out, we'd be living in a very different world. But our society is a reflection of what's going on inside. And so it's really clear that most people don't have their shit figured out. The problem is we're so afraid of judgment that we walk around pretending we have our shit figured out. Pretending like, oh yeah, I'm all good. I got it all together. I know that, especially being a coach, because if you're in personal development, if you're a coach, like you help people figure their shit out, so you should definitely have your shit figured out, right? It's like a personal trainer should have a six pack because they're a personal trainer. But the truth is, um, I didn't have my shit figured out. I still don't have my shit figured out. I am figuring it out. And the thing is, before I started doing these videos, I was ashamed that I didn't have it figured out because I'm like, I gotta be the only one in the world who doesn't have my shit together. I gotta be the only one in the world who's broke and overweight and, you know, <laughs> driving a shitty car and all this kind of stuff. Like, and I was so embarrassed of that and so ashamed of that that I just wanted to hide it from the world. But hiding that is what gave it so much power. And I started doing these videos and exposing the mediocrity, exposing how much I don't have my shit together and I was so scared to do that because I thought, oh, people are going to judge me. You know, they're not going to talk to me again. And it's actually been the exact opposite. You know, people have been reaching out to me saying like, this is how I feel. Or yeah, I'm in the same situation. And what I realized is that we're all in this together. None of us have our shit together. But most of us walk around like we do. And that's what's so exhausting. We have to walk around and uphold this identity that is just not real. Um... And it takes so much energy to uphold that identity. And what I love about doing these videos is the more I do them, the more I can just be me. The more I could be comfortable just being me. And I don't give a shit about other people's judgment because I'm just putting it all out there. Like, love me or hate me, I don't give a shit as long as I love me. And me being able to express my mediocrity and the things that I'm scared to tell anyone about how much money I have in my bank account or show the car that I'm driving or where I'm living, you know, all those things, like, that's held me back so much. And now that they're exposed, it's like everyone knows everything, <laughs> pretty much. There's like, yeah, pretty much I put everything in these videos. Um, yeah, and they'll get more and more real because it gives me more and more courage. Um, but it feels good to be okay with not having my shit together and to put it out there to the world. Like that feels good, it's such a freeing feeling. And um, I feel so much less alone because there's so many people that feel the way I feel, that struggle with what I struggle with. And um, that's powerful. And so that's the thing, if we could just stop pretending we have our shit together and be really real that we don't, we'll actually feel a lot less alone in life, a lot, lot less lonely in life because we'll realize that other people are struggling with the same exact things that we are. Other people are feeling this exact same way we are. And then we'll start to accept ourselves and love ourselves more. Because the thing is we judge ourselves for not having our shit together. You know, I judge myself for being broke. I judge myself for being overweight. I judge myself for living with my aunt. I judge myself for driving a shitty car. I judge myself for all of these things. And so I wanted to hide them from you because if you knew the truth, then you're gonna judge me for it. And then the judgment on myself is gonna be twice as bad. It's gonna hurt twice as much. But what actually happened is I put the truth out there and instead of being judged by people, I'm being accepted by people. People can relate to me more. 
and they're actually loving me more. So the exact opposite of what I thought would happen is happening. I'm putting myself out there and people are actually loving me more rather than pushing me away. And that's fucking crazy. Because it's like, if you could love me for the things I hate about myself, then maybe I could love me for the things I hate about myself. And that's what I'm starting to realize in all this, but I'm starting to experience this very high level of freedom and self-expression and authenticity because I'm judging myself so much less than I used to. And the cool thing is like, I'm putting out all this shit, all the mediocrity, all the stuff about how I don't have my shit together. But the amazing thing for me is I'm getting it together. I'm growing through this. Like if you look at my life 67 days ago, very different than where I am now. Like just look at my car, 1998 Suzuki sidekick, old lunk piece of shit to a fucking fancy, beautiful, gorgeous, sexy BMW in 67 days. You know, having five or $10 in my bank account and going to have to borrow money from my dad to having over $20,000 to work with to grow my business in 67 days. Now I had to ask for help. You know, I had to put my ego aside. I had to do all these things, but that's part of my growth. That's part of my journey. That's part of me stepping out of my mediocrity, loving myself enough to be able to ask for help. You know, it's like stuff like that, where it's like everyone who watches these videos, they get to see the transformation. They get to see the growth. They get to see me go from not having my shit together to getting it together to eventually having it together one day. And that's like, that's the cool thing about this journey. And we're all on that journey. The thing is we're trying to, to do the journey alone. And that's the biggest mistake is trying to do this alone. And most of us were trying to do it alone because we're scared that people are going to judge us. If they really knew what we're struggling with, if they really knew how bad we feel inside, if they really knew that we did this or did that, then they might not love us anymore. But the truth is it's going to be the exact opposite, especially for the people that truly love you. And that's like, it's a very freeing feeling. And that's the thing, like when you share your mediocrity, when you share your struggles, when you share, you know, the things that you're ashamed of, you realize other people have the same exact problems, struggles, fears, challenges. And then all of a sudden you feel a lot less lonely in life. I have butterflies right now in my stomach. <laughs> Because it's like, this is, this is a big deal. Totally exposing yourself. Like, I've never seen anyone do this. I've never seen or heard of anyone doing a video series of their life that is just real and raw as fuck. Like, I'm sure it exists out there. I'm not saying I'm like the first one. I'm just the first one that I know of. Um, I'm sure there are other people that do it. And I would love to, like, find them and follow them and get to know their stories and all that stuff. Um, but it's like, I think this is going to become a thing. I think people are going to start sharing and exposing their mediocrity and doing all these things because it really sets them free. And that's really, really powerful, really powerful. And it's crazy to me. Like I was talking to my grandpa the other night and he's like, I think he was like, I'm on day 20 and today's day 67. And he's like talking to me about stuff that was happening, you know, on day 20, which is like 45 days ago, 47 days ago. And I'm like, I want to tell him like, oh no, grandpa, that's old shit. Like, here's where I am now. And he's like, no, 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 don't tell me. Don't tell me I'm going to watch it. And it's like, it's a video series. It's crazy. So, um, yeah, but this is a big deal. So I'm excited. <laughs>